Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is WarDogSec, back with another video for you guys. Today's video, we are back at TryHack Me. This is the Cybersecurity 101 Learning Path Offensive Security Tooling Module, and this is the Hydra Room. Learn about and use Hydra, a fast network logon cracker to brute force and obtain a website's credentials. Now, obviously, this is for educational purposes only. Don't go out there and do anything illegal. We do not condone anything illegal on this channel. And if you do type something that's in regard to illicit activity, you will be blocked. Now, that is a disclaimer for YouTube. I also have disclaimers on my channel about this channel not condoning any type of illicit activity. I'll also have disclaimers in the description box and also the title of this video. This is only for educational purposes. Now, let's go ahead and dive into it. Task one, Hydra introduction. What is Hydra? Hydra is a brute force online password cracking program, a quick system login password hacking tool. Hydra can run through a list of and brute force some authentication services. Imagine trying to manually guess someone's password on a particular service, SSH, web application form, FTP, or SMP. We can use Hydra to run through a list of passwords and speed this process up for us, determining the correct password. According to its official repository, Hydra supports for example, has the ability to brute force the following protocols, asterisk, AFK, Cisco AAA, uh, Cisco Auth, Cisco Enable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, for more information on the options of each protocol in Hydra, you can check out the Kali Hydra tool page. This shows the importance of using a strong password. If your password is common, uh, doesn't contain special characters, and is not above eight characters, it will be prone to be guessed. A 100 million password list contains common passwords. So when an out of the box application uses an easy password to log in, change it from the default CCTV cameras and web frameworks often use admin and password as the default login credentials, which is obviously not strong enough. Right, this goes back to this is educational purposes only. Okay, this is obviously a lab environment where we're practicing and learning about um, security and such. Uh, installing Hydra. Hydra is already installed on TackBox. You can access it by clicking the TackBox uh, start button. If you prefer to use the in-browser Kali machine, Hydra comes pre-installed, as is the case with all Kali distributions. You can access it by uh, selecting Kali, blah, blah, blah. However, you can check its official repositories if you prefer to use another Linux distribution. All right, so this just shows you how to install um, Hydra tool, which we already have it on this TackBox, which is what I'm using here. Ready, or sorry, read the above and have Hydra ready. Okay, ready to go. Um, target machines already started up. Uh, task number two, using Hydra. So we've already started the attack box, start the machine. Here's the IP address here. All right, so let me just copy this for easy reference for later. Hydra commands. The, the options we pass into Hydra depend on which service protocol we're attacking. For example, if we wanted to brute force FTP and the username being user and a password list being password list dot text, we'd use the following command, Hydra dash L user dash capital P pass list dot txt ftp colon forward slash forward slash ip address of the target for this deployed machine here are the commands to use hydro on ssh and a web form uh, post method so we have ssh here hydro dash l username dash p full path to the password list and then you have the target dash t for threads and then four and then SSH for the uh, protocol. So here's the uh, table of everything here. Specifies SSH, username, login, dash capital P, indicates a list of passwords, dash T, sets the number of threads to spawn. For example, Hydra, dash L, root, dash capital P, password.txt, target IP address, dash T, for SSH will run the following arguments. Hydra will use root as the username for SSH. It will try passwords in the password list.txt file. There will be four threads running in parallel as indicated by dash T4. Post web form. We can use Hydra to brute force web forms too. You must know which type of requests it is making. Get or post methods are commonly used. You can use your web browser's uh, network tab and developer tools to see the request types or view the source code. And here's the syntax of it, sudo Hydra username, word list, target, uh, HTTP, post form, path, colon, login credentials, colon, and valid response inside of double quotes here. And this table explains everything here. Dash L, username, web form, dash P, password. List to use, um, HTTP post form, the type of form is post, path, login, page URL, for example, login at PHP, login credentials. The username and password used to be 
uh, used to log in, for example, username equals uh, caret capital user uh, caret and or ampersand and uh, password equals caret pass caret. In valid response, part of the response when the login fails, dash capital D is verbose output for every attempt. Below is more concrete example of Hydra command to brute force a post login form, which is what it looks like here. Okay. It's pretty straightforward, it seems like. The login page is only um, forward slash, i.e. the main IP address or root. Uh, the username is the form field where the username is entered. The specified usernames will be replace or will replace the uh, caret user caret. The password is the form field where the password is entered. The provided password will be replacing uh, caret pass caret. Finally, f equal incorrect is a string that appears in the server reply when the login fails. You should now have enough information to put this to practice and brute force your credentials to the deployed machine. So if we go ahead and take a look at this website here, and then we're going to answer some questions here. Okay. The first one says use Hydra to brute force Molly's web password. What is the flag? Use Hydra to brute force Molly's SSH password. What is the flag? So go ahead and try to figure these out yourself and then come back to the video and we will go through it together. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Be sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Once you subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell. All right. So, you know, every time I post a new video, as you can see here, most people that view my videos, view my channel are not subscribed. Now, if you do subscribe, it will help me get into the YouTube algorithm so that we can continue to grow our glorious community here. As always, thank you all for taking the time to watch. Have a nice day and enjoy the video. Let's take a look here. Now, ideally, you can go in, you can try to generate a request here to see what it looks like. All right. There's the error message that you can use some information from this to build out your command structure inside of Hydra. All right. Ideally, you can open up Burp Suite to try to get a request as well to make it maybe a little bit easier. But anyway, let's go over into Hydra. As you can see, I have everything built out here. Hydra dash L for Molly and then dash capital P for the word list. Okay. And then there's the target IP and it's an HTTP uh, post uh, form. Here's the information dash login. So what we're targeting user name information, password information, and then incorrect. Okay. From that uh, error message here. So let's go ahead and fire this off. And it shouldn't take long to find that. There we go. Molly and sunshine looks like the correct credentials. So if we go back over to it, we can try to log in with that Molly and sun shine if i could spell correctly i guess i misspelled something all right there we go so there's that one and the next one they want to target the ssh get that flag so let's go ahead and do that similar thing here okay they're talking about how to target a ssh in different uh, protocols from what we just read through so it's gonna be something like this here and that's what we have here, Molly. Then you have the password list. We're going to use Rocky and then target SSH, then dash V. Okay, so it's going to go through and try a bunch of different uh, passwords with that username, Molly. And there we go, Molly and Butterfly. And so we want to SSH into there to get that flag, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So SSH and then Molly at, and then the IP address is 10.10.166.213. Okay. Um, yes. And then the password for Molly is going to be butterfly. Awesome. There we go. So we can clear all this stuff out of here. Okay. You can do LS. There you go. This flag. You can do who am I? We already know we're Molly. Okay. You can do ID, stuff like that. You can do a like pseudo L to check uh, permissions and stuff. Okay. There you go. You can also do like a cat. Um, Etsy, pass WD, see who else is on here, see other, see if there's any other uh, particular users on here. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff, right? So let's go and clear this out. So we did LS, right? You can, you can do, um, it was, uh, yeah, stuff like that. So you can try to find like hidden files and stuff. But anyway, so let's go ahead and cat this flag and wrap up this video. There we go. Awesome. Now that was quick and easy way of showing you how to audit password logins. A lot of people out there will use weak passwords. And this is a prime reason, as we just learned here, to 
why you should use uh, strong passwords and also implement multi-factor authentication, two-factor authentication on login portals. Okay, if you're not doing that for your users, you should definitely look into um, implementing MFA um, or phishing resent phishing resistant MFA. Okay. Also, if you have logins for other portals out there, you should look into how to implement or turn on MFA. There's a website out there that you can just Google to try to implement or enable MFA for your accounts out there. But anyway, that wraps up this video. Quick and easy, down and dirty. And if you enjoyed the video, found it educational, found it of value, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel with the notification bell so that you know every time I post a new video or post anything to my channel. Comment below your thoughts and opinions on information shared in the video. As always, thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. Have a nice day, and I will see you later.